welcome to today. Today's video is all about me, Sophie, because she's the only one here. Gabby slept away. <laughs> and we had a nice rest, didn't we? Yeah. Nice change from the noise of Gabby. We named her well, you guys. Oh, no, there's two. Yeah, there's always two. Two of them. And that one down there. Oh, that is why I don't garden anymore. There's two in the garden. One's in there. Well, that's a big one down there. Yeah, they're all big. I am going to get mothballs and put them in there because I read that that's the only thing that will get rid of them. And I don't feel bad about it because I do not love walking over snakes. It's just not my thing. I know a lot of you guys like snakes. I don't. Right, you know it's summertime when the barn door is left open. It is 19 degrees. 19 degrees. This morning it was cold. Is that dad's sweater? No, this is my sweater. Oh. Best for winter. Yeah, you had one too. Did yours break? Mine's purple and I don't know how it is. Yeah. Can you get me a new one? Yeah. We got these sweaters from Costco like a year ago and it has fur on the inside. I would suggest getting them for winter. Yeah, for winter. Not for summer. And it is almost summer. It's hard for me to even remember that it's not even summer here yet in Canada and we're already kind of warm temperatures. Yesterday when Gabby left to go to Kaylee's house, Molly ran to the car. She was stood there like she was so confused. She didn't want Molly and Gabby to leave. Storm's like, how dare you feed that horse first? I am the king here. You're next, Stormy boy. Stormy? Sophie, let's go do the girls. Molly, stay here, little Miss Sneaker. Sophie has to feed Finn because he is not allowed to have his ears pinned. Good. Is it Yeah. Food. So that'd be nice, Vinny. There we go. Good boy. Yeah. Job, so. so today we have riding lessons and I want to pick Sophie's saddle pad. Sophie, if you let me pick your saddle pad, I promise you will not be disappointed. No. All right, you guys heard it here. Sophie said I cannot pick her saddle pad. Do you know what color you're going to ride? No. What color would your dream ride be? Lavender. Lavender? Yeah. All right, I was not going to pick lavender. All right, look what at. What color were you going to pick? I don't know, but not lavender, because you always wear lavender. Mm -hmm. Look at how cute these puppies, these ponies are set up. Ponies are going straight to grass. Still trying to figure out the whole feeding thing. Like, I... If I know I'm being super repetitious on how we feed our horses. If one thing though, it will help anybody else that's new coming into horses and how hard it is to keep your horses a good weight and a good shape. Gracie, I notice, is super chubby today. We only feed the girls two flakes in the morning and two flakes at night. So there are flakes and in the morning. We divide, so it's two feedings. So they're getting three feedings a day, so they don't have a bellyache. So I decided I'm going to talk to Fiona today, but. I decided that we're gonna feed our horses grass in the mornings. She did have a good point though. If you put them out on grass after morning, then they've had hay so they won't gorge themselves. But I saw Chino and he gorges himself on that grass. Uh oh. For anyone who cares, I clean Stella's bucket. I'm keeping this bucket. This bucket is for somebody special one day. At my age, you think I should do it now, but I already feel overwhelmed with all the horses that we have. All right, who am I leading? Chino? I like leading Chino. Chino's a nice boy. Clap your hands and you feel stronger. Tomorrow, you get another chance. Don't blame yourself under the circumstance.
guys might be wondering about the evolution of the poop pile. Half of it is missing. Okay, one small part of it is missing. Uh, some guy is taking it. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's coming back tonight. Some uh, people are still taking this stuff. They're taking it and getting rid of it, and soon we're gonna have an empty pile and start They're fresh. They're probably selling it. Who cares, sell it. When we start fresh again, it's going way back. Usually on riding days, I spend a lot more time in the barn and make sure it's really, really clean. And today I'm not because I have stuff to do in the house because we are gonna go, we have uh, errands to do and I'm gonna pick up Gabby. So I need to get my stuff done in the house sooner rather than later. I swear to God though, I do not ever walk into the house without checking for snakes. Like, I can't, I can't believe we're living on a, safe, on a snake pit. Just in case you guys never get tired of seeing them. That's the little one right there. Watch, there's his head. He, they jump at you. See it? That's the baby. I have to hurry up and tell you this, but we have a surprise for Sophia today. A huge surprise. I've been trying to give her hints all day, but she, I mean, she has no idea. Like, she has no idea. We never get to surprise our kids. And you might not think this is a big, huge surprise, but she's gonna love it. It's gonna be something so amazing. And the surprise happened by the grace of God and really good friend. By the grace of God and a really good friend, Sophia's gonna get something today that she has been waiting for for a really long time. We're going there right now to get it and then to pick up Gabby at Kaylee's house. She has no idea, none. Like, she's gonna be so surprised. I love pulling ones, I, pull, I love pulling it over on my kids, like keeping things from them. Like ever since YouTube, everything's been a surprise with me. All right, here she comes. Are you ready? <laughs> I always give her a list. Okay, do not come downstairs until your bed is made and your hair is brushed. Do not come outside until the, the food on your chin is clean and you have the proper shoes on. You got the proper shoes on? I hate these burning socks. They're not comfy. Yeah. We, as soon as the mall's open, we're going to do a big shop and we're going to get all the things we need for summer because we haven't done it yet. She wants to always wear her farm Crocs. Like we, we have farm shoes and we have town shoes. That's what I call them. And Sophie said... And Sophie said, I don't have town shoes. And she has lots of flip-flops and she has Birkenstocks, two pairs. Actually one, one doesn't fit her anymore. And um, I keep on trying to tell her, like, no, she's, she, Sophie said, if I'm staying in the car, but it doesn't matter. If we go to town, you wear town shoes. Town shoes and town clothes. You got town clothes on? Riding. Riding pants, because she's gonna be riding today. What so we just here? drove by our old house and our old neighbor is out and we just oh. stopped to say hi. Hi. Do you want to be on our video or no? Sure. This is Chantel. You guys remember she uh, has a son named Connor and he's been in our videos before. How good. are you doing? Good, good. What are you guys doing this way? We are six feet apart, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was at a friend, so we are headed to pick her up. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just hanging out and going to paint my windows. Oh, super cool. Yeah. And I think that you should come out for a minute. I think that the horse gods did something. And I don't know how they did this, but they did something and they slam dunked something here for you, I think. Something is here for you. She's like, what? <laughs> Sophie, I have no idea how it happened, but it happened. All right, so we do not know what's happening. Oh no, my battery's about to die. What is it? You're so bad. What do you say? You're welcome. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's so nice. Surprise. Surprise. For the grace of, by the grace of God and a good neighbor, Sophie got her saddle pad. Pretty myself. I know, it's so gorgeous. Are you shocked that you got it? Yeah. I know, what a nice neighbor, huh? What a nice friend. So, can I choose your saddle pad for today? I'm using this one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I had picked out for you. See, every time I ask you something, you should let me choose. You should go with it. Anyway, you guys may not know, but that lady, Chantel, she's a good friend of mine. Um, uh, we used to live not near each other, and I miss her a lot. I miss friends. I know you guys are probably missing friends, too. I did tell her that when things settle down, we're about to go into phase two um, of 
of reopening society, I don't want them to come and ride our horses. They've never ever met our horses and we used to be, we used to do stuff with them and hang out with them and they've never met our horses and they watch our videos and they feel like they know our horses and I think that would be really fun, her and her son to come and ride our horses. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be so much fun. All right, so you guys remember, this is our trailer and we were gonna bring it home and set it up on our property and have like this super fun hangout area. Well, we changed our mind at the last minute. Sam and I discussed it, talked about it, and we decided we're gonna just get rid of it. We're gonna gift it to somebody. We're gonna give it away. Mom, Sam's gonna give it away. Go Lots of that. stuff like fans and bedding, like so many fans. Where are the fans? Uh, blankets, we got dishes. I wanna bring home all of our dishes because they're cute. We also have a big shed out there of all the stuff that we need to take home. We're gonna come back on Wednesday and we're going to just go through everything and take out all of the stuff that we wanna keep forever. Like look at all the silverware. We need your spoon. Yeah, so that's the story of the trailer, you guys. We're saying goodbye forever. So we went to pick up Gabby and do all of our running around and we got back within the four hours. The horses are off the grass now. We have 10 more minutes before they've been on there for four hours. And Chino was checking out the shelter for the first time. But can you guys see the difference in the grass? Like they're clearing that out. Another week and I'm less than a week and it'll be done. Last night, Sam ordered Chinese food and we have a bunch of leftovers. So I'm gonna eat that before lesson. I had the best lunch and now it's time to get ready for Fiona. Sam, I'm gonna go down and clean the barn before Fiona gets here. Fiona doesn't go in the barn because of COVID, but I said I'm gonna clean it anyway because you never know what could happen. And he said the barn's already clean. And I said, I know, but the one thing that he does never do, that none of them do, that I am really like sweeping. Sweeping is like a big thing for me. I hate seeing stuff all over the floor. And he said, the barn is clean. And I said, all right, but it's probably not like swept really well. And he said, you wanna make a bet? So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see how well it's swept. So you guys can come along with me. Wow, it's the best he's ever done. It literally is the best he's ever done. It's not perfect though. And to be completely honest, I kind of like cleaning up and sweeping. Imagine you had horses on your property. You had to just walk down to the end of the driveway to take your riding lessons each week. Would you spend a bunch of time getting ready, picking out your outfits? Gabby's doing that, that's what she's doing at the house. They have to get ready to go to riding, but really riding is already here. This is it on- There's never spider kill on it. This way, look at the saddle pad on Gracie. Isn't it gorgeous? In the camera, it doesn't look the same. It's gorgeous. It's perfect for Finny. And your shirt's got green on it, too. I love it. Oh, I like it on Willow, too. Gracie's like, give me more food. It's just a good No joke? The pool is so good. The only thing it needs is a little bit of... The, it's got sand and some stuff in the bottom and leaves. The girls need to get in and get it up so that it goes into the filter. Looks so good and it's not that warm. Basically it's uh, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees, except for it's windy so it doesn't feel that hot. Like I could put on a sweater, but the thermostat says it's 90 degrees. I have this umbrella up so that I can sit and be nice and cool in the shade and watch the lesson and video the lesson. I am not sure how the horses are gonna handle it though. I know that Chino does not love the umbrella, but it's a necessary evil out in the sunny day. Perfect spot. First boy to the gate. Gracie and Chino are literally the first ones to the gate all the time. But you can tell when our horses are bored because they all come. Look at it, Finn looks so good now. Yeah, his coat. He looks, he looks like he got pink on his nose. <gasps> his nose, we better put more sunscreen on it. Holy heck, that's sunburned. What is wrong with his nose? That's not normal sunburn. Uh oh, I hope he didn't get stung by a bee. No, I think it's just, what happened to him, Mom? His nose got sunburned. Wait, are we leaving Finn on these? No, they're all coming in. Okay, grab storm. Look at Chino's nose. 
actually like super interesting that when you routinely take the horses out of the field to put them in grass, they're willing to go wherever you want them to go. I swear to God, every horse holds their pee until they get in their nice clean shavings and then whoosh, because that's what he's going to do right now, pee. You do outside too. Oh, but he, they like to do it inside because then... Um, I have a question. Wow, that's pretty... We need, um, Imagine you had to get like that to pee. So we have the sunscreen. I don't know. My mom Why are you always got to be a hater? Why is it? <laughs> oh, that's the wrong there. spot. Yeah, I don't know who did that. You did. It's probably Gabby. Oh my god. Um, I really have more sunscreen you. down at the pool. The pool is. You want me to do it for you? She <laughs> was like, "What can I do here?" I'm sorry you got sunburned, buddies. But I mean, we did Sean try. Didn't quite get sunburned. He did get sunburned, just not as bad as Finn. Cover the whole white part. I am. You need to mix it in or else it won't. Like it will dry up and not work. Pink. Those are not. Listen, dude, we don't want you to have a pink nose. Spin thinks we're giving him medicine, probably. He's like, I am not. <laughs> He's got his nose up against the wall. I am not taking any medicine from you. Oh, your poor nose. Well, I'll put the sunscreen here and we'll put it on every day. Since they won't leave on a um, uh, fly mask. Fly mask. See, that's why we wanted you to have the fly mask, so you wouldn't get a sunburn. It's gone, like, it's Look, dying. underneath his belly is a scab. Where? Right underneath here somewhere. I don't see anything. This thing? Yeah. Well, it's been there for a while. What is it? Finn has it too. What is it? I don't know. You should ask Fiona. I don't know. This one's like come off. If you guys can see it. Somewhere. It doesn't in there. look like a scab. This is what happens when Gabby comes to the barn. She's like, let's make a mess. So yeah. So if he wants to try the saddle pad on Finny because it's gonna be his saddle pad. There too. Just one I think there's two. Mom, it looks so good on him. It looks so cute. Try it on Stormy. Looks good on Chino. Looks nice. Can you see Chino? I found it. Huh? I found it. Cute. Gabby is, bigger than yeah, this is what we do. I've been teaching my kids prioritizing. We need to do a class. Oh, okay. Anyway, Gabby's finally decided to use all the bits for her tack trunk. Because it got too messy. Because it got too messy. All right, here it goes on Stormy Boy. I think he'll probably look the nicest on Storm because he's so dark. I love it. Okay, no joke. With her saddle, it is gorgeous. Isn't that so nice? <gasps> I love it. Oh, Gabby got some scratches on the trail ride on top of her helmet. She's taking such good care of this helmet, so now she's thinking she's going to maybe get a new one for Christmas. What's your... Shows. What would be your dream helmet now after the 1K? Sam Shield. Sam I still Shield. still love wide 1Ks. Yeah. I just need a wide brim. Do, does Is Sam Shield? Just because the wide brim has this part instead of starts there. Yeah, I love a wide brim, but it doesn't look that as good on Sophie. Sophie looks way better with the shorter brim. What's your dream helmet? One K. One K. So you, I want one with diamonds. Like I'm not lying. You can get one with diamonds. I want one with diamonds, you guys. That's you like, just won't be able to show in it. I don't care. I want a diamond helmet. Like that's my dream. I'm not a bougie person, but I want a bougie helmet. All right, we're headed out. I got all the waters. Stormy, Fiona's on her way. Let's go. Loves <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> He's a leather chewer. How'd you get California? Like, I don't know if you can see the difference in color when it's darker. It looks so different, not in the sun. To be honest, also, I think it's such a good thing that this farm is not so big because walking up and back whew, to the house is enough. Just This is just perfect enough. Sam, do you want water? Yeah. Uh, Thursday, we're not riding in. We might ride in on Tuesday. Drive in, why? We're driving in once every two weeks now instead of every every week. Just until... Here, Mom. Okay. Just so until I'm something in, changes. In my next lesson, I want to practice single boxers, like diagonals and quarter lines. Let's see if Storm will drink the, from the water jug. Sorry. Chino will. I know, Chino does. It's a drink. Put your, put your tongue. All right, let's see. Four on the right. I was telling. 
fatter. Oh, you've been got five and four. You are fatter. There he goes. You gotta do it. Fill Is it up that good? More. Because you gotta fill it up with more. What the heck are you doing? Because look, he wants it. Uh, I was telling Fiona, like if you go on a trail ride and your horse, you can get your horse to drink from this. That's hey, so don't good. Lick it. Yeah, I mean, he's not perfect at it, but at least he will. He's like, you guys are dumb. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he flings it on Gabby. Whoa, no. <laughs> oh, Gabby!